if a and b are integers, integers important, such that 2x square minus ax plus 2 is greater than 0, and x square minus bx plus 8 greater than or equal to 0, for all real numbers x, very vital point, is always greater than 0. Then the largest possible value of 2a minus 6b. It's a complicated sounding question. I'm going to do this by a wonderful method called as completion of squares. What do I mean by that? Let's take this one. 2x square minus ax plus 2 greater than 0. I don't want to deal with 2x square. I'm going to think of this as x square minus a by 2x plus 1 greater than 0. We know that x minus k the whole square, x square minus 2kx plus k square. And here we have an a by 2. And that is equal to 2kx. Or we're talking about k equal to a by 4. That's when this will match. That means k square should be a square by 16. What do I mean by that? Suppose this were x square minus a by 2x plus a square by 16. This is x minus a by 4, the whole square. And I cannot just add on one side. So I'll add a square by 16 at this side also. And then bring this plus 1, this side as minus 1. Or x minus a by 4 whole square is greater than a square by 16 minus 1. Now remember, this is always true. This will always be true only if this is negative or 0. And so, this always holds good. That means this expression has to be negative or 0. x minus a by 4 whole square is greater than 4. Will not always hold good. x minus a by 4 whole square is greater than minus 3 will always hold good or a square by 16 minus 1 should be less than 0. It, can, it cannot even be equal to 0. Because if this were equal to 0, then x minus a by 4, the whole square, is always greater than 0. That won't hold good. Because if x is a by 4, this will become 0. Then this number should be negative. Or a square is less than 16. a is in the range minus 4 to plus 4. And so we want the largest possible value of 2a minus 6b. So a has to be as high as possible. a cannot be 4 or a should be 3. So I'll jump in and do the same thing for b. x square minus bx plus 8 is greater than or equal to 0. Wonderful. This is greater than or equal to here. This is x square minus bx plus b square by 4 greater than or equal to b square by 4 minus 8. Why are we adding b square by 4? b square by 4 is b by 2 whole square. 2 times b by 2 is b. So this becomes x minus b by 2 whole square is greater than or equal to b square by 4 minus 32 by 4. Remember, this always holds good for all real values of x. That means b, b square should be less than or equal to 32. Here it is less than or equal to, but that doesn't matter because we're looking only at integers. That means b square can go from minus 5 to 5. But if greater than 5, it will become 36. Minimum of 36. If it is less than minus 5, it will be minimum of 36 again. So minus 5, minus 4, minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, all of these will work. We want 2a minus 6b to be very high or we want b to be very small. The smallest integer b can take is minus 5. 2 into 3 minus 6 into minus 5 is the largest possible value of 2a minus 6b. 6 plus 30 which is 36. The key takeaway here, the most important point here, is the idea of completion of squares. You might be given any quadratic equation, x square plus 5x plus 11. You should be able to write it as x plus a whole square plus b. Find suitable a and b such that this becomes like this. Be it with numbers or variables, it doesn't matter. Any quadratic, you should be able to write it as a square plus a constant, an adjusting term. 
you should be able to do that. That is very vital. Add that to your list of skills today. Do it a lot of numbers. Anything x square plus 23x minus 139. Write it as some x minus k the whole square plus m. Or if you have x square plus px plus q. Write it as some x plus something the whole square plus an adjusting term. That skill is vital.